everyone! Thanks for tuning in. For some reason, for a couple weeks now, I've had it in my head that I want to get back and rediscover my Bare Minerals stuff. Like, I just want to bust that out and do a complexion routine with Bare Minerals all over again. Because I have a little section of my makeup where I keep my Bare Minerals stuff, and I see it, and I just think it's okay to take a break from the liquid foundation for a day or two, alright? So I'm just feeling like I want to do it. Um, I've got my skin all prepped from my serums to my moisturizer, eye cream, I've got my sunscreen on and we're just gonna do the regular old foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Original and I have medium beige in this. This is not like the first one I ever owned. This is a more recent purchase. Love their little sifter locking mechanism so you can twist that and tap some out. I've got this little brush here called the Beautiful Finish Brush and I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna swirl tap and buff. I'm gonna get it on here. Just begin working that in on this side of the face. And yeah, I don't have any tinted moisturizer on first. I don't have any concealer on first. I'm going to use my Bare Minerals like powder concealer. I think I had come across a video, it was probably an ad like on TikTok where somebody was mentioning their age or something and then talking about how good this foundation was. And it just for a while now I felt like, yeah, I want to use that. So there's one half of my face with it on. This is without and with. So yeah, that does make an impact. Go over and do the other side. I've got still got a lot of powder in my cap. This brush is interesting. It's like got a rim of longer bristles around it that supposedly like just help the finish of the product on your skin. But you feel like you're just using a flat top brush. I even went back last night and I watched some older videos rediscovering my Bare Minerals stuff. I need a little more. My nose redness has been intense for these last few days. It's cold. Okay, look how good this is coming across right now. I also have like a pressed version of Bare Minerals. At one point in time I'd gotten the blemish friendly version of Bare Minerals. You guys remember the complexion rescue stick that was so good? So I feel like my face is pretty well done. Like looking up close, can you see that little, you know, Bare Minerals hint of luminosity that this stuff does have on the surface of the skin, even though technically it's a powder texture product. I'm tapping in a little bit more just to go all over one more time, just to build it a bit. Center of the face mainly. I would say this feels like a medium coverage all over my skin right now. And then for their powder concealers, um, I have the one called Bisque. I think it's a little bit more pinky toned than Well Rested. I feel like this would be the most brightening for me right now. And do you remember a few years back, where's the brush? I still use this brush from time to time. Remember this little like triangle brush that QVC was doing with their Bare Minerals concealers? I remember Emily Gemma like raving on it and I bought it and I, it really is good for these products. So I'm tapping out a little bit of Bisque and these concealers are like more concentrated than the powder foundation. I do kind of feel like less is more with this stuff, but I am going to take this straight up in this zone on my under eye and use it as my concealer. Just dab it around there. Get some on my brush, you can see a little triangle. I feel like it's helping me out on the dark circle a little bit. I mean, it really does have coverage. It's just kind of that fine line of thinking, like, how much feels right for me to put on of this stuff. But this is definitely the thing that I think makes a Bare Minerals face routine full coverage, is the addition of this. I really need it around the nose, so I'm picking up a little more. It's really crazy how natural it looks. <laughs> and then for some reason, I'm feeling like, what if we just tapped in a little bit of the Well Rested also? So I've got that too. Same little brush, tamping down into my stuff there. And I'm kind of like going down the side of the nose with it and just pulling in. I like that. Pick it up, go down like this, and pull in. And we can brighten up in here. 
I'm digging it. Yes, yes. I guess we can just keep it rolling because I have bronzer too. I figured out my game plan. I'm going to use faux tan here. So this is a really great bronzer. You turn it. I love the locking mechanism. Tap out some. Do you see how like dark that looks? I'm not tapping out that much. And then I think I'm going to use this little brush called the sculpting brush that came in my, um, I was going to say Amazon set, but TikTok shop brush set that was $25 that is really such a good all-encompassing brush set and I'm gonna begin using this around the hairline I feel like I always have felt like this is a pretty potent bronzer remember when bare minerals was like a new thing and you'd get your starter kit and there would be something in there just called warmth from what I remember compared to faux tan that's just a warmer tone bronzy product I remember having faux tan like self tanner that was really good loading up my brush again and we're gonna contour down in here the blending has really been easy. I think the thing with Bare Minerals, and maybe it's just me not using it in a while, the wonderment is kind of like, how do I know when to stop with it? Because you feel like, yeah, I could just keep like layering and layering, but then you stop and look at yourself and you're like, wait, I am covered now. I don't really need more. And a little more for this other cheek. This brush is so soft. I made potato soup over the weekend and it is so good. It is a more labor intensive soup. It made me stop and realize how so often I'm just like dumping things in the crock pot and going with it. Um, but this, there was a lot of chopping, but it makes you feel good because you're like, okay, there's a lot of veggies going into this. Like you got your celery and carrots and of course the potatoes. And while for a large chunk of time, the stuff's just like cooking in the crock pot, it's cooking your potatoes. There's just a lot of little steps to keep track of it seems like but it turns out so good it's so worth it that's my point even got a little bacon in there I will link to my recipe I it's one of my top recipes that I've found on Pinterest and then I pulled out this for my blush it's the bronzer in kiss of rose not kiss from a rose we don't need to start singing baby but this is that shade this is my favorite one of these blush plus bronzer they say you pick some up I'm just gonna buff that in. It's kind of warm and toasty, but also rosy. Isn't that pretty? Like, I'm enjoying the finish on my skin. And this has some glow as well, so you might not even feel like, oh, I need to throw on a big highlight with that. It's pretty. And then remember, they put out the mineral veil in a pressed version, and it says original mineral veil pressed setting powder, and this is the sheer light. It's actually in a little compact with a puff, but I'm just going to take a bit of that and just go dabbing all over my face, and it gives a nice little finishing touch, kind of perfecting. It just kind of makes everything feel a bit more merged into one. I'm enjoying that. I think the skin looks awesome. You can get up close to it. It doesn't seem powdery, actually. That's kind of the magic of Bare Minerals, I guess. Pumpkin spice in the house. Okay, so I've done my brows and my eyeshadow primer, and I've blown my nose like two times. It probably needs to be repaired again with a little more coverage, but actually I'm kind of impressed about what lasted there. And then I have these little um, mineralist eyeshadow palettes, so I thought I would use the rose wood one today. Give us a little pop of something other than just plain neutral. I'm going to take this shade called Blossom 3 and yeah, let's just have fun. Again, I did put on my Milani eyeshadow primer and I got to admit I have not used these palettes much. I remember purchasing one and I was sent some in PR, but it was a while back and I realized on their website they still have those. Apparently they do not have faux tan, at least on Bare Minerals website. Maybe elsewhere you can find faux tan. They had warmth. But it's interesting how Bare Minerals has kind of integrated a lot of liquid products too. And I've talked about them here on my channel, like those little tubes where it's a highlighter and a blush combined, or it's a bronzer and a blush combined, that type of thing. They're trying to keep up with the cream and liquid craze, I think. Um, so that's that shade just really softly blended into my crease. Maybe we go to this burnt rose shade that's next to it. I'm getting zero fallout from these, by the way. It kind of makes you wonder if for a second, like, am I picking up shadow? But here you can see we definitely are. Burnt rose. We're not calling it dusty. We're just calling it burnt. And I also noticed that they still have a bunch of their loose powder shadows. And I do own some of those as well. And I need to go through my collection and see. Because I know I probably got some in little limited edition sets. And some of the shades aren't really relevant. But I need to see what ones I have that 
actually are still being sold because I really enjoyed those for a time. Okay, so we're just buffing out mainly this shade. You could even combine the two if you want a little help blending it up and out. But yeah, that's nice and soft and pretty. There's another shade down here called Primrose and it's like, I don't know if that would actually help me on the blending. It's not quite a highlighter. It's almost like a little bit grayish. I won't take it straight up to the brow, but yeah, I think it kind of helps smooth. We have a pretty, just shimmery, kind of pinky, orchid type of color, and we have sepia right here. I'm gonna start with a little sepia. It's this nice, rich, dark brown. It's nice to go into a shade like that and feel like you're not getting any fallout. I'm just dabbing it out here like I like to do. I like darkness at the outside. And then I'm going to go for a lot of that uh, wildflower color on my lid. But not before getting this nicely blended out. Adding a little more. I would say I'm on the outer third of my eyelid here with it. And then I'm going to take my small pointed brush, but with a little of Burnt Rose. And that's going to be like my, my assistant blending shade here. Just having a little bit of that on the brush makes your blending even softer, like easier. I've been doing that a lot lately, just finding the next shade up intensity wise, the next shade lighter and using that as a means of helping you blend. That's why palettes with nice gradients of mattes are so useful to me because that's kind of my biggest enjoyment in doing eyeshadow is a nice, really pretty, really clean blend. This really does look like a bare minerals kind of eye look. I don't know what that is really, but I feel like I have it. Okay, now slightly smaller flat brush and we're gonna do wildflower. And we also have a little shimmer in this shade called marigold up here, so we might be able to use that too. But picking up wildflower, it is bringing some pink, but not in a super loud way, you know? It's nicely pigmented. I'm not struggling at all with building up the color. It's just the nature of this shade. It's not wild. It's like a, a mature pinky toned eye. I don't know. I really liked when Bare Minerals packaged their eyeshadow palettes in little compacts that closed. Um, and there were like six shades in there. They had some really good ones. This packaging, while I know it's a little more environmentally friendly, it's also just a bit more bulky. Okay. I'm building it up a little bit. I just want a little more pizzazz out of that shade, but at the same time, I'm kind of appreciating the softness of the shade. And then maybe we take a bit of marigold. So I'd been holding the palette like this, okay? So marigold's up here. And it's like a soft, really soft gold. Not brassy at all, more of a champagne. And I'm adding a little bit of that in here. It's not showing a ton. But yeah, that's my really soft, natural eye look. I'm going to take a bit more sepia, the dark brown, and let her come down here. I think it's going to be kind of a rainy day today, so that means Rhett's going to probably have to take a break from the mower. I was getting so frustrated yesterday. It comes with a remote control. So this is my first like ride on toy. Maybe all of them come with remotes. I don't know, but like if they're kind of heading in a direction you don't want them to go, you can try to like take control of the steering and get him going the other way. Sorry, my eyes are watering. I feel like I might sneeze, but he's really learned to try to override when I try to get him to go one way, he'll go another. And that's not super fun. Just a little light definition there. They are cute. They're like a cute little book. Let's try this Bare Minerals mascara that I had been sent and had been kind of like just not using. Max. It's kind of like a chaotic looking brush, like a couple of, of bare stripes. And in between those bare stripes, we have a strip of the wild. You probably can't possibly tell that by any way I hold this. And then the whole like back semicircle is thick with bristles. So thick with bristles, two stripes of bare are in there. I think I am going to do a little shadow stick action just to give myself a little more definition at the lash line. This is L'Oreal's Brown Abyss. I really like the way this merges with a lot of looks. It has some shimmer in it. It's also cooling um, and it just goes on really softly. The level of depth, it's darker than cold brew by quite a bit from Hard Candy, if you're familiar with that. 
um, and it just like nicely and very sneakily merges into any eye look. It gives you that definition. But yeah, I go like two thirds of the way in with that. Now let's try this Maximus. It's like they're really trying to be not bare minerals with this packaging. The high contrast, black and white, the big print, the all caps. They're trying to make a statement here. I wasn't even planning for this to be a Bare Minerals full face, but I just kept discovering this and that. Um, it's doing a pretty average first coat. This may continue to build well. I was thinking just given the wild looking bright, like just long bristles. Maybe I shouldn't use the word wild, but thick, long bristles. It looks like there's a lot of product possibly hiding out in that brush. I, I thought maybe I'd get more on my first coat, but first coat isn't really that big. We'll see how it builds up. If you like a really nude natural eye look, they have one called Ultra Natural. There's also a more purpley one. There's one called Warmth. There's Burnished. I like that one. I guess this is my election day eye look. I'm going over to vote this morning. And there's no school today for election day here in Illinois. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can build up some more over here on this right eye. Hi, Biddy. Love you. Love you. Hi. How's it going? Good. Were you talking earlier? No. Were you talking in your sleep? I heard voices after I got up. I heard, I think it was your voice. Are you talking to yourself, possibly? Talking in my sleep. Um, that's two coats on this side now, and it definitely built well. It didn't build in a way that made it look like it had spidery ends. It didn't clump them together. I don't know. Should we probably go for a third coat on top of all this just to see? Um, this is now coat number two on this side, and I got some on my eyelid. Two coats of this really isn't bad. Keep in mind, I still need to go over my nose again from all the nose blowing. Coat three. Wow, okay. I'm really feeling some major drama with the third coat. Now keep in mind this is a brand new mascara, so the story may change as you continue to have it a while. There's a lot of product at the tip of the brush, and if you really get that going into your lash look, I feel like it builds up faster. Um, I'm not willing to put that down on the lower lashes yet, just because I'm not sure how that's gonna do, but I'll do a little Cali Ray come hell or high water there. So for lips now, I love these Dewy Gloss Balms. They are so good. They feel so luxurious. The colors are great. The colors are even. I really like those. I can link below to the video with more info on those. But I also have um, a less experimented with thing here. This is the Mineralist Lip Liner. This is the shade Cherished Rose. They give you a nice long lip liner. I thought I would use this first and then go on with one of those balms. Going on super smoothly. It is a classic sharpenable pencil. I can see all the dryness on my nose there. Ugh. The Bare Minerals really didn't exaggerate that too much, but I've just been blowing my nose a lot. I'm one who, when I get a cold, I'm just endlessly blowing my nose. Looking kind of mauve don't you think? And then I was going to use this one called Devotion. It has that little band there. It looks like a black cherry kind of look, but you know, giving a reddish berry Look how pretty this is going to be. It's so shiny. I love these. Oh, they're so comfortable. Dig that. Now what I need are two things. I need a little more like enhanced coverage around my nose. I'm just going to use a little bit of the foundation. And by the way, if you don't have that little triangular brush, which I know is probably pretty hard to come by these days, just any smallish one, like Profusion even has this little brush, and it would be good for concealing. I'm going into my foundation and I'm using just a little bit more of that around my nose. Maybe I'll go up in here too. I mean this is all powder coverage which I'm happy about. Seeing where I went with it on the eyes I might pick up a little cooler blush. I think I have one that's like a pressed blush here. Well not really that cool but maybe a bit cooler than what I use. This is pink me up small size. I'm just gonna add a little blush. Yay. Blush is like adding the look of health, so if you've been sick, don't skip the blush. And my lip just feels amazing. I'm not sure how well that lip liner is going to wear. I can't really say that yet, but pairing a lip liner with one of these balms just gives you a really opaque color. The balms are nice on their own, but I like how that looks all clean and finished now. 
Alrighty, friends, there's my Bare Minerals face. If you have any tips and tricks with Bare Minerals, let me know. It's kind of funny. Again, I thought this was just going to be like a complexion routine video today, but I'm like, oh, I have an eyeshadow palette. Oh, I have lip colors. But I do think it's pretty phenomenal that this can be the end look. I haven't put on setting spray. I haven't even put on a highlighter, and the surface of the skin looks this natural. I think that's really remarkable. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for appreciating videos that truly just kind of come from the heart, you know? It's not like this video was really prompted by anything but my own inspiration, just kind of thinking about Bare Minerals again, and that's what I decided to do. And that's what I love about my channel, is that it's not dictated by a sponsorship or, you know, I have to do this, I have to do that campaign or whatever. It's just what I want to do, and I love that. So thank you for supporting it, and I'll see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.